Guys, Monday early afternoon. I think I dug a silver rosy earlier. A huge can hit super loud, so I thought it was another copper. Back in here, looks silver. Is it an oldie? Yeah, it's a young a little bit, but I'll take it with pleasure. Put that in the zipper with my rosy. We'll check the hole. And yes, I put my SD card in my camera before I left. Smart move. Cool, it was deep, so no use breaking this plug. Okay guys, sometimes I finish repairing my plugs after I shut out the video, but I'm doing it in my fist. So yeah, plugs are always done. I'm doing that. Look at here. What's this thing? Like an 8 inch? Another silver dime. Oh, it's got to be a 68. Got to put that in the pouch. It's not a young head, so. Look, looks silver though, so. Probably a 68, 50%. I think they come in 80% too. Three silvers, possible. I think I got a silver rosy earlier. Okay, on to the next. This is it has a 40. <clears throat> what, I'm not sure it's silver, but it looks flashy to me. That's weird. This is an American. Or a trying looks awfully small to me. Not another fish scale. Okay. So this looks like Queen Elizabeth. Uh, looks like King George the Fifth. Another. I have my man juice in the Jeep. Wow. Okay, it's gonna go in the zipper. Now it's cherry picking. I almost felt guilty. I think I only dug like three targets. I want to make sure to put it in the zipper. Three targets. I'm not even thinking of anything under 40. Plus they all seem uh, like big targets, so I'm trying to get narrow target. This one was nice and tight, but fish scale, so we figure, was it 1936 and under? And this is how deep it was, like 4 inches. Hmm. And uh, I thought I was gonna go home. Uh, maybe my streak was gonna be over, but no. This is my. I think it's my fifth day in a fifth hunt in a row with silver. Well, wow. okay. Enough loading. On to the next. Okay, guys, this is has a forty. <coughs> What, I'm not sure it's silver, but it looks flashy to me. That's weird. This is an American. Or a trying. Looks awfully small to me. Not another fish scale. Okay. So this looks like Queen Elizabeth. Uh, looks like King George the Fifth. Another, I have my man juice in the Jeep. Wow. Okay, it's gonna go in the zipper. Now it's cherry picking. I almost felt guilty. I think I only dug like three targets. I want to make sure to put it in the zipper. 
three targets and not even thinking of anything under 40 plus they all seem uh, like big targets so I'm trying to get narrow target this one was nice and tight but fish scale so we figure was it 1936 and under and this is how deep it was like four inches hmm. and uh, I thought I was gonna go home uh, maybe my streak was gonna be over but no this is my I think it's my fifth day in a fifth hunt in a row with silver. Well, okay, enough loading. Uh, I'm not sure what I got here. I just gave it a quick, pretty much surface, but mostly clad. I don't dig much clad. Recently, I only dig silver. Hmm. Little nail. Little nail spill. Yep. I think it's nail infested. Okay guys, hey guys, Michael here from the Canadian Relic Hunters. Not too much on the board, but I'm still on a streak. It's unbelievable. I didn't go dig this morning. Don't, this morning was Mother's Day. But I went Saturday, and I kind of forgot that I went Monday morning. And I got some good mail call by my sweet friend and subscriber, Darlene. Fouillers Acadienne. Got her sticker there. I got to put it on my shovel, but as soon as I put a sticker on my shovel, it, it gets rubbed off. You should see my stickers. I'm gonna have to show it next video. They're already all used and worn. So anyway, get to it. As you know, the new Ferrari, my labby track given to me from James and Rebecca from Messy Hole, is pretty heavy, but it's worth it. It's not like my Bumblebee, super heavy and wasn't good for nothing. This thing. Makes me feel like I'm cheating every time I use it. So these are like an hour and a half uh, hunts at the most, pretty much. But if you think of my last two weekends, those were Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, silver on every day. So that's silver for four hunts. This is my fifth hunt, silver, six hunt, silver. So let's get started. So, uh, just to say, my next trip out is going to be my 7th, going for the 7 out of 7 hunts with silver. Not getting greedy or anything, but I'm getting spoiled with this machine. Okay, this was at the same place. I'm trying to think of another place to go to dig, because I don't want to dig it out, but I'm on a silver streak, so I'll keep going there until I figure it out. Let's start with the garbage. This, if I have lots of time on my hands, I'd flatten it out, but I'm pretty sure it's a light bezel. My pull tabs, as you know, I'm keeping them this year. And I haven't got one. Okay, so this is Monday morning. Here's the pull tabs for 219. Getting there. Anyways. What else do I have? I think this is a bottle cap or rim cap. Modern nail. So what's that? Five pieces of garbage. Uh, seven pennies. I thought this was a silver. 
rosy. You'll see on the video if I kept it. But it's not. Uh, score wise, Bicentennial Penny with the bird, 1967. Got a young Elizabeth. Not sure what year that was. Let's check it out. 61. And a King George. I'm digging lots of these pennies from there, which told me in the beginning that was going to be a good sign. King George the six. So the first one I found there was this one, Young Elizabeth Dime. It's over for the day. Took me like, I, I think I dug this one on the first hole, but I'm not sure. So I'll have to check the video. Let's use this. I uh, should put my glasses and all my head. Works a lot better. 1955. Then I dug this. If you see, it's like modern. It's not the young Elizabeth. But I saw the color right away. It was kind of... As soon as I flip and I saw that head, I knew it was silver, I had no question about it. And I check when I got home and it's, it is a 1966 Elizabeth II silver dime. So that was cool. So that was it for Monday. As you see, I wrote 5th of May. Love these boxes. Okay, so let's go to yesterday. Same area. I'm gonna have to call it Silver Town or something. So this is the garbage can. I took it back here, but I'm gonna throw it out. Square nail. Good sign. Find a new spot on that location. Might be a mini honey hole. Looks like a screw cap or I think it's a yeah, a cap or maybe a big tube of cream or something. There's a nail. I'm not sure if it's square or what. It's pretty old. Two bottle caps. One boat. This ran pretty good, so I wasn't surprised. I guess we're, we're two. I might keep it and explore it to make sure, but it's too light to be anything good. This I thought was a pull tab when I dug it out to pen it. Nothing valuable, it's super light, but not much. Eh? I had more garbage than finds on this day, but wait till you see. Of course, I got lucky again. Two 12 sided pennies, that earring, and this is a King George again. Yeah, King George penny 1947, I think. Oops. Not sure. Yeah, 47 looks like. Then, I go away from where I found most of all my silver. Same location though, near a tree. A dig signal. I don't know what told me to dig that signal. But it was only like 4 inch deep. So I dug it. There was crushed stone in the dirt, roots. Popped that out and look what popped out. Unbelievable. Another fish scale. A nice year. I love that year. 1912. Titanic year. It's in really good shape too. I didn't clean it too, too hard. Lots of detail on it. King George V. Fish scale 1912. So the streak is running. Still alive. This is six straight hunts with silver. I haven't never done that last year. I don't think I've ever done that. Plus, if I count my silvers, I'm pretty sure I'm beating my totals from last year. And this really is a three weekends of hunting. So yeah, I won't be complaining for quite a bit. So that's it. I'd like to thank uh, James again. I don't uh, want to thank Darlene 
Cleaver is that gets in. I like her, her cards. They're funny, sweet. It's not doing too bad. I'm slowly picking stuff up. So that's it. Another great weekend, guys. Thanks. Uh, like and subscribe if you can, if you like. I appreciate all of you, all my subs, new subs and futures. So have yourself a great week, and we'll see you next weekend. Bye for now.